introduce Jacob Batalon, our star and pro producer. day ahead of us. Let's get started. Uh, one day I will drive a G-Wagon. Now, whether it's stolen or actually mine, it's still yet to be determined. I will also one day own one of these yachts. Jacuzzis. Jeez guys, it's not all about the money. God. Ah. What a beautiful old town Cairns has. But I ain't got time for that. I've got drinks to sink. I mean, sales to close. One moment, we must pause for this basic bitch post of a sunset. God, what has my channel become? Although, it is undeniably beautiful. Enjoy! Proof I'm actually working at this TV conference. Oh, and if you were wondering, it's cool. I can film here because it's a film festival. Lol, if anyone actually asked why I was filming, I'd say I was sending video messages to my mum. Ooh, break time. <laughs> oh, look at that. Gorgeous tan. It's just coming in lovely. I can't lie. I would let those ribs impregnate me. Nani? Oh look, rare footage of me actually smiling. You know what, for once I've got to agree with my mother. Kind of unsettling, not gonna lie. There can only be one explanation for this. Clearly I'm still daydreaming about them ribs last <laughs> night. <laughs> Right, so day one was a big success. Meetings went very well. First market, I am sunburned already. Um, and I'm a little bit hungover, it's like 9 a.m. right now. But yeah, very much enjoying cans right now. It's way better than being in the UK. And yeah, hopefully tonight I'm gonna be partying with uh, Spider-Man, or Spider-Man's friend, so yeah, let's see how that goes, and maybe I'll get invited on a yacht party, we'll see what happens, I have higher hopes. So this was a pretty dope garden area where we could sit back and relax and take breaks in between meetings, so obviously I took a hungover nap there, lovely stuff. Cheers. Yeah, definitely not the worst work conference I've been at. Uh, can't really complain with 20 degree sun in April. And yeah, everyone's friendly, easy to talk to. I'm not gonna lie, most of the sales I've done have been to members of the opposite sex. That's the suspicious. There. Can't believe I'm recording this. This is, I'm doing a vlog whilst I'm meant to be at a work event. But yeah, fuck it, I give no shit, so. I'm gonna move on because people are now looking at me weird. Yeah, so also if you're wondering why my eye looks a little bit weird, I don't know, it feels fucking weird. Basically the fridge is freezing in our Airbnb and essentially I had a Pepsi bottle in there, thought, you know, 9am, start with a fizzy drink as you do. Open the bottle, it was so cold there was ice in the Pepsi bottle and piece of ice flew out and s fucking scratched my eye it was horrid i thought i lost my eye i was like i was like to my boss i was like can i take the day off then he was like no nah, you gotta go in but yeah so that was fun i uh, don't know if you can see in the background warner brothers stand is there but yeah very cool shit anyway time to get a coffee because i'm tired of everything life so yeah Honestly, what I'm showing you in this mini vlog is only like 15% of how fucking big this palais is for the conference. It was humongous. And you know I said it was easy to film? It was hard to film inside. I can't lie, people thought you were weird. Huh, you're weird. Why aren't you filming? See here, this is where they rolled out the red cam, red camera? Red, what the fuck's that? Red rug? Red? Velvet? I can't actually it. my brain's gone dead. Be right back. Clearly having a little brain aneurysm on camera, for fuck's sake. You can tell I was hungover by the end of the conference. This is where they brought out the red carpet for me. They brought out the red carpet for me, I'm like the biggest name here, so yeah. 
Sorry, uh, the Filipino actor from Spider-Man. I'm bigger name here. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a funny story. Someone said to me yesterday, oh, you're that Jamie. So yeah, that was fun. Right, a little bit of context. I was that Jamie because I had apparently emailed her non-stop and liked everything on LinkedIn. Like, when I say everything, I mean every fucking goddamn post. <sighs> Sorry for doing my job. God, I deserve a raise. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the only thing is, it's quite far. Me and my boss talking about our favourite thing, food. This is a lovely little beach restaurant where I, by accident, <clears throat> I'm telling the truth now, by accident, expensed a 45 euro rum and coke on the company card. <clears throat> Whoops. At least it was a healthy lunch choice though. Not many carbs. And here is the security line for check-in. I didn't catch it on camera, but once they realised who I was, obviously big name, Foster Unfiltered at the conference, they let me skip the queue. <clears throat> but yeah, I sadly couldn't get it on camera. Shame. And the further we go into this vlog, I am starting to realise that it seems like I was constantly out in the sun. Not working. I promise I did do some meetings. And they went really well. They just happened to include alcohol. <clears throat> Not a bad little five minute break. I swear every meeting I've gone to, <laughs> whenever they ask what do you want to drink, they're like, oh yeah, do you want juice, do you want coffee, do you want tea? And I'm like, uh, Rosé? Uh, you got any champagne? So yeah, it's been very successful. I've pretty much convinced everyone to start drinking way too early in the day. And I've still got three meetings to go and I've had three drinks. So wish me luck. I'll probably be fired by the end of today. But yeah, we move. But in other stories, it is beautiful sunshine here. And I am getting more and more sunburn as the day goes on. Brits abroad, am I right? And yeah, I'm sorry, this was a very much a last minute idea to vlog this stuff because I didn't think I'd get time to do it. But yeah, life's too short too short to give a shit about your career when you can just get drunk. If you're wondering how I got invited to this party, let's not forget, I get paid to chat shit for a living. Don't ask. Really fun show, I hope you enjoy it, and I want to introduce Jacob Batalon, our star and co-executive producer. <laughs> Close to my face like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for coming out. This is honestly, this means so much to me. I could cry right now, but I'm trying to be professional with you all. Um, uh, I really just want to say again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mahalo, so wonderful. I, I truly cannot believe that you're all here wanting to buy my show. Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to say, let's have a great time. You all worked really hard, and I just want to have a great time with everyone. Yay! Hey. Male vampire? But oh, you're fat. Thank you. That's going to cause some problems within the vampire community. Can I still eat pizza? Yeah, go for it. This is Jacob's new show. And to be fair, it's pretty funny, the trailer I saw. I promise I'm not getting paid commission, but I should be. Not a big deal, guys. It's just two celebrities hanging out. Uh, yeah, yeah, get together, get together. Hang with like, like a delicate, my guy. God. Goddamn. What's your, what are your, the recipe that you know? Beef bullet. Beef bullet. Oh, shit. Like. God, I was so hungover the next day. I thought I'd just cuddle with this. Uh, I mean, what the fuck even is this freaky creature? It's important to rehydrate. God, I'm too hungover to do these meetings. I wonder what Jacob's doing. Hello guys, day three of the Cannes conference and the sun has disappeared, just like my spirit, because I'm very hungover. Last night was a very big night. Um, one moment. Look at that view, absolutely stunning even in the clouds, but yeah, last night was a pretty interesting night. Went to like Cineflix party um, for this vampire show that has Jacob, 
uh, actually forgotten his surname, but it's this guy, uh, and he's from, he's Ned from Spider-Man, like, homecoming, far from home, all of that, so yeah, uh, end up speaking to him, as I would do, because I thought, why the fuck does he want to speak to all these 50-year-old, 60-year-old executives, like, he wants to speak to someone cool, i.e. me, I'm obviously the coolest person at that party, I'm, a, I'm actually near his age, uh, so yeah, I ended up chatting to him for like an hour about surfing, Hawaii, Denny's. He took the piss out of me because I said I love Denny's. If you know, you know. He's completely wrong on that. It's absolutely sick. It's the best breakfast place. Uh, but yeah, it ended up being a big night. He invited me out to dinner. So that was quite a cool experience. We just want to get fucked up, to be honest. But I had to keep it kind of classy. So we went to a Lebanese restaurant. But it was actually quite a cool experience. Uh, yeah, so I went to my boss and I was like, yeah, so I'm going out. I'm going out for... A <laughs> Jacob asked me what to, where to recommend to eat, and I said, uh, La Pizza. <laughs> I recommended a pizza joint. He was like, You did not recommend a pizza joint. I was like, Look, it's what I want to do. I know I'm a, I'm a movie star, and I'm more interested in what I want to eat. But yeah, it was a sick night. It was my final day here. Um, actually, if I could describe this conference in one word, it would be a blur. And yeah, it's just been mental. But a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of drinking really nice to actually meet some fa people face to face and yeah quite a cool story hanging out with someone who's been on I mean he's been in the Avengers and Spider-Man so that's pretty sick and he got to meet me which is pretty sick for him so uh, yeah he's never gonna forget that so anyway closing up here signing off here because this was really short content <laughs> wow short content Foster yeah I thought I'd only recorded like two minutes worth of content. Well, actually, turns out I made enough content for a full length feature film. God, I'm a narcissist. <laughs> Wasn't planning on doing this video, but I snuck away from my boss, so I thought I might film a bit of content. Just in case any of you are interested in seeing what it's like to be at like a Cannes film series event. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this content. And yeah, keep it tuned. I've got a lot of videos coming out, so. Yeah, I should probably go back and uh, get ready for my flight and pretend to do some more work. Also, the two meetings I had today were probably my two worst meetings, but it wasn't because I was hungover. Jeez, look at that view. Even in the shitty weather, it's still a vibe out here. Con, I think that's how you say it, con, not can. I will be coming back definitely for holidays. My mate's actually in Nice. Thursday, I should have stayed for the weekend, but yeah, maybe I'll hit up Jacob and uh, go meet Tom Holland and Zendaya. I feel like I should get a date with Zendaya. Let me know if you think I can. Well, that siren is slightly fucking concerning. Oh, cans can count themselves lucky. I was ready to go fucking full on Jennifer Lawrence and the Hunger Games on their ass. Alright guys, before the vlog is over, I had to leave you with a little mini apartment tour. Now bear in mind, I had to do this pretty quick. Oh look, there's the ball that exploded and almost took my fucking eye out this morning. Stupid cold fridge. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, got to do this quick because my boss, you know, he was in the bathroom. And yeah, got to do it before he comes out. So yeah, living room, bathroom, bedroom, boom, there we go. Right. Stealth apartment all done. Wait, well, knees, cans more specifically, it has been an absolute pleasure uh, for you to experience my presence. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Absolutely loved out here and hopefully I will be back. Peace. This is how I feel after this week.